Many people look at the use of energy in the world and they assign it to transportation or to buildings or to other activities, but in fact manufacturing, uh, making, designing products, etc. have a big influence on the usage of energy and in fact manufacturing uses quite a bit of energy. Most of our work is, is closely coupled to industry in the following sense that either it's funded by industry uh, through a consortium that funds our laboratory or it is motivated by our conversations with industry who give us an insight into what are the important topics relative to manufacturing that they are concerned about with respect to energy, sustainability, materials utilization and things like that. And so all over the minimization of energy in the machinery that uh, uses it to produce things and in the factory, the building that that houses the machinery and of course eventually in the product is very important and is one of the key drivers to trying to green up the process and the technology uh, today. So we look at ways and the interest is trying to find ways to reduce the energy, of course also materials utilization in manufacturing or make better use of energy so that the energy that you do put into converting materials or manufacturing a product is as efficiently used as possible. That starts with a design process because manufacturing is influenced by design. So companies take this extremely seriously, which is very gratifying to us because it means in addition to solving interesting technical problems, we're also giving the companies the wherewithal to move forward as they try to address the big challenge of reducing energy, reducing resources, reducing consumption in the way they run their business. Engineers have to realize that when they make decisions about how to produce a product, how to design a product, how to distribute a product, there are ripple effects that go all the way through society in many, many, many places far away from the factory. So there's a tremendous number of incentives and concerns that drive companies to want to do this well, but they want to be able to make money doing it as well. And that's where you want to have this kind of, what's the return on investment? What kind of benefit can I get from this improvement in addition to the environmental or the resource efficiency utilization, can I show also a return on investment with respect to the economic advantages?